Hey, hey team, how's it going guys? It's Coach Ben back with another PE activity for you to do at home. Today's activity, you have to be a little bit creative. We're gonna be outside, we're gonna be inside, and we're gonna do all kinds of different exercises to improve our muscular strength, our muscular endurance, our cardiovascular endurance, all of our health and skill related components. Now I'm gonna go through my front yard and my backyard and find as many different things that I can and create exercises out of those things. And then we're gonna go inside and do the same thing. We're gonna use as many different things as we can to create exercises. Now you don't have to do everything that I do. Um, you may not have some of the things that I have and I may not have some of the things that you have at your house or in your yard. So just do the best that you can. So the first thing you're going to need to do is find a big object. I'm going to use my car. And you're going to run around this big object doing as many different locomotor skills as you can. So here I am at the car starting off with a jog around it. And I come back and I side shuffle. Run around the car. And let's do some high knees. This time, let's do butt kickers. Pump those arms. And this time, let's go with bunny hops. Go around the car, and a one foot hop. This time, let's go with tuck jumps. Big explosions. And this time, let's back pedal. This one is a low squatting walk. Run around the car, finish with a jump. Now let's go to Zach. Zach is gonna start off with walking lunges, bending his legs at 90 degrees, taking his time, and then he jogs around. This time he's gonna go with a skip, all the way around, and he comes back with a gallop. This time he does karaoke. And then he does this dance thing. Not sure. Since we're outside, we're gonna find some things to crawl on top of or crawl through. Zach chooses this bush that we just cut. He climbs up and jumps off. The next is a tree, a small tree. And he's not gonna climb high. He's just gonna climb on the trunk through some of the branches and he's gonna hop down safely landing with good balance excellent now the next one if you can find a tree branch you're going to hang from it and do some knee lifts and try a couple pull-ups now for this next one you want to find something heavy two of something heavy and Matthew and I are gonna use the water jugs we're gonna fill them up with water and we're going to use them as weights. So we're going to use those to do some different exercises here. He's going to fill both of them up and then I'll show you what to do next. So we're going to use these heavy items to do some bicep curls and some lateral raises, working our shoulders, some front raises getting those muscles nice and strong. We'll do some squats, get those legs strong, chest up, weight in the heels. We'll do some lunges, carrying those heavy items, some squat jumps. Now we're gonna do a farmer walk where you carry those heavy items around a tree or around a certain location, working on your grip strength. You can also add in some walking lunges For this next one, you're going to need a ball and a partner, and you're just going to practice your bounce passes and your chest passes. Don't forget to practice your dribbling and your shooting skills. For 
this next one, you can get any kind of ball that you would like to. Uh, Matthew and I are using a football, and you're just going to practice those throwing and catching skills. What other ideas can you come up with? What's up guys? This first activity inside is called the Cushion Stacker 5000. Woohoo! For this one, all you're going to do is stack up some cushions and pillows and see if you can jump over them, on them, and do some pretty awesome things. Level 1. Level two. Level three. Level four. Level five. Level six. There are now six cushions to jump over. Let's see if you can do it. This is the final, ultimate level. Here he goes. <laughs> Are you alive? Now I want you to make a bridge or a pathway out of the cushions or pillows and do some high knees on top of them. Notice how we changed the pathways this time. He's skipping over one. Try to design a few different bridges and a few different pathways and try to go over your bridge in as many different ways as you can think of. For this next activity, what you're going to need is you're going to need a set of drumsticks. If you don't have a set of drumsticks, you can use some kitchen utensil utensils like a spatula or a big spoon. You're also going to need some cushions or some pillows, something that you can stack up so that you can strike the pillows with the drumsticks or the kitchen utensils. Um, I put a piece of plastic, a, a container, a lid container on top so that when I hit it, it'll make a louder noise. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to get into a squat position or a good athletic stance, bending your knees, chest is up, and then you're going to strike the pillow with the drumsticks or the kitchen utensils in any kind of pattern or beat that you would like to. Let's watch Zach do it. Here's an example of another pattern. One, two, three, four. 
Don't forget, if you don't have drumsticks, you can use your kitchen utensils. We got a spatula and a spaghetti spoon. Go ahead, Zach. All right, so the next activity is all about balance. We're gonna use some checkers, or if you have Connect Four pieces, you can use those. We're gonna stack them right here. Stack them as high as you can, or you can stack them in a few small stacks. Now what you're gonna do is you are going to try and balance the checkers or your pieces, whatever you have in one stack in your palm and try to walk around the room in open space. Let's see if Zach can do it. Can you walk faster? Oh, it's a little wobbly. Right now he has a bigger stack. Let's see if he can do it. Ready, set, go. This requires a lot of concentration, a lot of balance. Don't panic. Ta da! Alright, so here's a challenge for you. I want you to start maybe with one checker. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your arm and put your hand by your neck so that your elbow is here and you're gonna place the checker on your elbow just like that. And I'm gonna say one, two, three, and you have to try and catch it. Now let's try two checkers. We'll stack them up, put them on your elbow. One, two, three. And got both. Now we have a stack of three. Got them. Five. Got them. Six. <laughs> Zach's gonna try one. Got it. Two. Got it. Three. Got it. Four. Missed one. All right guys, so those are the activities for today. Um, I hope you really enjoy them. Get creative. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly how I did it. You can do something totally different um, just as long as you are being active. See you guys tomorrow. All right guys, we're gonna work on some throwing and catching skills and Peyton is gonna get into it. He's gonna practice his agility and cardiovascular endurance. Here we go. <laughs> Gizmo, what are you doing? What are you doing, Gizmo?